Hey, 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 hey. Um, happy Friday. So I'm going to shoot a quick video. Emily Quisenberry here, and we are going to talk about um, fast food, being stuck in a fast food rut and what to do about that. Um, I, if you, if you do jump on, let me know that you're here. I um, would love to say hi and uh, give you a quick shout out. So um, let's talk about that. If you, um, let's say you've made a decision to lose some weight, okay? And you, um, but you have a, a habit of eating at, um, you know, fast food places. And um, I'm not going to call it a bad habit, okay? I'm just not. I'm just going to say, hey, Cece, it's good to see you. I'm happy to have you here. Oh, Gulchin, yay, Mwah. my sweet friend from Turkey. Uh, I met Gulchin um, in 2017 on a cruise um, in Greece with my daughter, and she and her husband, Sinan, are fabulous, so I'm so super excited she's here. Um, so let's talk about fast food. So I'm not going to call it a bad habit because you know what? When we do that, then we put ourselves into a ditch believing that food is good and it's bad and it's right and it's wrong and we're healthy and we're unhealthy and we're just, we're going to get over that, okay, together. And what we're going to do though is we're going to look at, oh, miss you and love you too, sweetie. i um, super glad to see you here. But what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, a simple strategy to really work on this area. Now, does that mean it doesn't need work? Of course. Do we know that eating a lot of fast food is probably not the best choice for us? Yeah, probably so. It's full of a lot more salt, a lot more fat, um, and those types of things. So, um, and probably not quite as much nutritional value. It probably would really um, push on that um, idea of an 80% whole nutrient dense um, diet that we really want um, to be eating. So if you find yourself in a fast food rut, this is what I suggest. I suggest that you plan the times that you're going to hit fast food. And if that needs to be on a daily basis that you make that plan or on a weekly basis, decide ahead of time. These are the days that I'm going to eat fast food. And then I'm going to tell you to take a step further. I'm going to tell you to pick the restaurant and I'm going to tell you to figure out what to order at that restaurant to serve the goals that you have. Okay. Um, I'm going to provide you with a link that will give you um, some good ideas. Okay. You can always Google. Google is your best friend. Um, Google, like if you're going to go to Panera or you're going to go to Chick-fil-A or you're going to go to McDonald's or you're going to go to Taco Bell, go and Google and say nutritional value and look at what you might normally get um, just based on your own thinking and then look for some items that are going to help you get a good amount of protein. That is going to be your number one thing that I want you to look for when you are eating fast food is what how much protein is in it. Number two, I want you to look at then the carbs and the fats. Does it fit within um, your goals for the day? Okay, so decide it ahead of time, either during the day or during the week. Um, make the decision of what you're going to get beforehand. Like I know what I'm going to eat at Chick-fil-A when I go there. I know what I'm going to eat at Taco Bell when I go there. I know what I'm going to get at Panera when I go there. Um, and I've learned that through this journey and through this process. So that is a huge thing. Um, make the decision ahead of time for when you're going. And because the truth of the matter is, why do we eat fast food? Um, mainly because it's quick and it's easy and it doesn't require a whole lot of thought. Um, it's simple. Okay, so let's try to create then a new way of integrating fast food into our life. Um, and you just may love it. But it's going to take a little bit of prep and a little bit of planning, okay? Just like making the decision ahead of time about when you're going to go and what you're going to eat, it's the same thing. So what I suggest and recommend is that you come up with maybe one or two um, protein ideas that you like. It could be grilled chicken. It could be pork tenderloin. It could be, um, you know, ground meat and ground turkey, those types of things. Two things that you like. And make them, not only go buy them at the store, okay, but go ahead and make them. 
cook them up, put them in your fridge. Do the same thing with two veggies that you like. Um, I love Brussels sprouts. I like roasted broccoli. I like cauliflower. I like, um, aspar I mean, asparagus is not my favorite, but I will eat it. Um, find what you like and make a couple of different types of vegetables. Cook them up, buy them, cook them up, put them in your fridge. Okay, third thing is rice, potatoes, pasta, something that you like that's more of a carb, a starchy carb like we would think, and make it up, make it up, put it in your fridge. Because the beauty of that, when you have those like two meats, two vegetables, two carbs, is that you have something that you can very quickly pull together and make a meal. Um, things I like to add to my meals would be Greek yogurt um, that adds protein with a little bit of carbs and really no fat because the one I buy is fat free. Um, I like to add cheese to it. That's how I'll get fat sometimes. I like to add avocado to it sometimes if that's how I want to choose, choose to get my fat. I could add salsa to it. I love salsa and there's all different kinds of salsas. Um, you can make your own fast food with just a little bit of planning so that you can not I think what we tend to do is we tend to decide, okay, this is a bad habit and I'm going to get rid of it completely and I'm going to just jump into this new thing. And we generally don't sustain it. So that's why we're going to go, we're going to go slowly. You're still going to be eating fast food, but be more mindful of it. Prepare for it. You're going to start to eat things at home or have them for to go on the run with you. I buy those, I bought at Costco, like they're like about this big, like square glass containers with plastic lids. I also have some round ones. They're perfect. Put all your stuff in there or have smaller ones that you can kind of separate things. I personally like to mix everything together. That may sound gross to you, but it actually is quite good. It's like a bowl um, that you would get, you know, somewhere. Um, make yourself or even have romaine lettuce on hand or some kind of arugula or some kind of spinach, something like that that you love and build your own bowls. And again, this is going to take some prep and planning. Um, it's going to take um, maybe a new way of thinking about things. It's going to take some forethought, but it is so worth it um, because you're going to begin to increase the amount of nutrient dense whole foods that you're eating and therefore your fun foods um, you can be more picky about what it is that you really love and you really want rather than feeling like, oh, I just had fast food and it wasn't really what I wanted, but it was what was simple and easy. So I'm, I'm curious, is this helpful to you? Does this help you understand that you can still eat fast food? There's a place for fast food in your diet, but if you're eating too much of it and you want to change that, then this is a, a really good strategy to start doing that. So if this is helpful, I would love to you to you know hit the like button, um, hit the love button. Let me know that this is resonating with you. And if you have questions or comments, drop them below. Put them in the comments and let me know because I want to be able to help you. This is a question that came in to me on Instagram. Um, on my Insta stories, I posted yesterday, you know, ask me anything. And that's, you know, that was one of the questions that came in. And I think it's a very valid one because I think so many of us um, eat fast food because it is simple. It is easy. It doesn't take a lot of thought on our on our on our part. Um, but if we have goals that we want to achieve and we want to live fit, healthy and strong, um, then that's that's going to be something that I would encourage you to begin to work through and maybe give yourself a month. And say, this is what I'm going to work on this month. Because if that's a big issue in your life, it's going to take you a little bit of time, like, to figure it out. So, um, anyway, I hope that's been helpful. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. We are leaving for vacation in just a few hours. So, I am in the middle of packing. I'm actually going to have to go unpack my suitcase um, because I have too much stuff. And we're going to the beach. So, it's not like I need a ton of stuff. Um, so, anyway, I will be posting tomorrow morning um, while we're on the road. Um, I do want to know, though, the things that um, you would like to learn about. So shoot me a DM, drop a comment below, ask me a question. I'm here to help you to lose weight, to live healthy, fit, and strong in your body, your soul, and your spirit so that you become the woman that God created you to be. I'm super grateful for you. Go and have a great rest of your day. Be blessed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.